Hey guys, so today I've been seeing a lot of videos on the internet of people making like baking uh, little slime things. Like, you know, so I'm going to try it out. I think it's kind of annoying, but I want to see how it goes. So that's cool. Alright, so I'm making these up as I go. So first you'll need a slice of watermelon and you will need to cut that up. So I'm going to cut it up in here. So once you've got that all cut up, it should look something like this. Little tiny pieces. Go ahead and set that to the side. Uh, so, by the way, we ma are making a uh, watermelon passion fruit um, cake. So, next, you will need some, you'll need a bowl to mix your delicious ingredients. So, first, you will need some milk. Then you will need some evaporated milk, which is sweeter and a little different than regular milk. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. Next, you will need some flavoring. I got cherry and watermelon passion fruit flavoring. Then, go ahead and mix your ingredients up so far. Then, you're going to put that aside. Then you're going to take the, water, not the watermelon guts, but the watermelon juice that we saved from the watermelon from earlier. So this is the watermelon juice that we saved from earlier. Then you're going to pour it into your sweet mixture that you have here. Just little by little and it adds flavor. And it should start getting into a gelatin mixture for the cake. So once it's getting into like a gelatin mixture, um, go ahead and set it in a glass pan. I'm not doing that. It's time to so get all the extras out. Be careful because it's still very, it's not set yet. So then you just want to keep on adding some more watermelon juice until it starts to set a little more and you think it might have enough flavor in it. So once you got it in a nice swirl watermelon thick gel, you want to put it in a glass tray. Just want to even it out so it can set ready. Once you have it pretty flat, it's almost ready. 